Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a very interesting exponential equation with complex numbers. In other words, we're going to find an exponent that doubles. We've done quite a few problems on this topic. I hope I did not make this particular one because B is a constant in this case. It's a given number. So can we talk about a family of solutions because depending on the value of b we get different solutions for example if b is zero then z can be anything besides zero right i mean think about it if b is zero you get zero to the z equals zero anything besides zero should work right i mean think about it well can 0 to the power 1 plus i. Is this 0? That's something to think about, right? So how could we write it? As e to the power 1 plus i ln 0. So that would be an interesting thing. What is 0 to the power i? What is 0 to the power 1 plus i? Something to think about, right? So obviously ln 0 is undefined, so we can't really talk about it. But any power of 0 should be 0, don't you think? If you disagree, let us know. Anyways, that's a very, very specific scenario. Let's go ahead and continue with the other cases. What are the cases? Well, first, let's try to solve the problem. And then I'll split up, okay? So to solve this first, I will assume that B does not equal zero because we already covered that. And we're going to go ahead and write this as a complex exponential, e to the power z ln b equals 2b and you know why i pick b instead of a c 2b or not 2b in order to be able to say that initially my plan was to use a c but it's supposed to be a b anyways here's my two cases case number one b is positive okay this is important because if b is not positive L and B is not real. You get that? If P is positive, 2B is also positive, right? And then we're going to write this as e to the power z ln B equals 2B. And 2B can be written as 2B times e to the power 2 pi and i, right? 2 pi and i. And 2 pi and i represents 1 in the complex plane good now since b is positive we can go ahead and natural log both sides and notice that this actually works as a modulus that's the r you get it r e to the i theta yes because it's positive so now we can do the natural log on both sides it's going to give us this ln r which is ln 2b plus 2 pi and i Okay, 2 pi and i. Okay, now, how do you solve for z? Easy, right? Easy. Divide by ln b. ln b is well defined, so we get, and I can also use parentheses here. That seems to be the solution for positive values of b. Let's go ahead and took look at a specific case, okay? Or maybe the principal value. If n is 0, by the way, I forgot to say that, right? I always do. n is an integer. Here too, okay? n is an integer. So, if n is 0, z will be ln 2b over ln b. Okay? Make sense? Okay, cool. Now, that should be the particular solution, of course, but this would be the general solution. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second case because I think the second case is more interesting. b is less than 0. And that implies 2b is less than 0. So, 
when you write this as e to the power z ln b equals now how do you write 2b because it's negative so first you have to find its absolute value if because 2b is negative its absolute value is going to be its opposite which is positive by the way and then the argument because it's a negative real number is going to be e to the power i pi and of course i can add multiples of 2 pi right like this and now let's use the natural log right so we're going to have z ln b equals ln of negative 2b plus i times this okay and then we can go out and divide by b right the problem is ln b is not well defined this is non-real can you believe that non-real because b is negative so we kind of have to find out what it is first how do you write the natural log of a complex number you do the absolute value right ln absolute value of b plus i times the angle is going to be pi again right and but you need to add multiples of 2 pi again like this great and since b is negative this is going to be ln of negative b don't worry about this because negative b is positive which is kind of weird right okay that's going to replace ln b here and we're going to divide by that so z is going to be ln of negative 2b plus i times pi plus 2 pi k divided by ln of negative b plus i times pi plus 2 pi m does this look like it is correct okay here's the thing if k and m are both zero then we're going to get the following ln of negative 2b over ln of negative b so in the real scenario we can actually write the solution as ln absolute value of 2b over ln absolute value of b we could even write this as uh, using the change of base something crazy like this right but this is only for the real case in the general case things are different so to me this looks like a good solution but what do you think let me know and i'm also going to show you the result from wolfram alpha yay does this agree with what we found because wolfram alpha only considers this it probably it's taking a positive log here i mean a real valued log for positive b and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.